Hi friends, welcome to today's class. Today we are discussing about uh, finding the code word in convolutional code using matrix method. Okay, how we are finding the code word using matrix method. Okay, let G1 equal to G11, 21, 31, etc. GM1 that is the output connections to uh, first uh, in output 1, connection to output 1. Then G2 is equal to G1 g2 2 g3 2 etc gm2 okay so consider an n comma k comma m convolutional code that has a generator matrix g have a dimension the generator matrix have a dimension l by that is l number of rows l by n into l plus m or n into l plus m is number of columns okay where l is the total number of input bits in message vector Okay, what is L? L is the total number of input bits in message vector and M is the number of flip flops, N will be the number of output and K will be the number of input processed at a time. Okay, so for a 3 comma 1 comma M that is N, N, K, M. So for a 3 comma 1 comma M, therefore the number of input at a time is 1 and the output is 3 and number of flip flop is m convolutional code has a generator matrix g is equal to g11 g12 so the two output 1 2 sorry this is not 3 this is 2 comma 1 comma m since n equal to 2 here n equal to 2 since n equal to 2 number of output is 2 so we have g1 and g2 so g11 g G12, G21, G22, G31, G32, etc. GM. There are M flip flops. So GM1, GM2. After that, we are writing some zeros. This is the first row of G matrix. Okay. Uh, writing the G1, G2. Okay. G1, G12, G2, G2, G31, G32, etc. GM1, GM2. Then we are adding zeros. Okay. In order to fulfill the number of columns okay now the next row can be written as shift the numbers one by one so this is the g1 of output one and two okay this is the g1 of output one and two so shift this together okay so shift this together then we get the zeros will come here and this will come here okay only a single shift right shift then we get a second row then after shifting L times that is L is number of rows after shifting L time we get like this G11, G12 etc to GM1, GM2. This is how a generator matrix will be created for a convolutional code. That is we are we are only considering the generator sequences for uh, to output that is G11 and G12, G21 and G22. Okay. So but for, uh, first we write the first row by considering the generator matrix G1 and G2 after all the rows is the shifted version of the first row okay so the blank areas are all zeros this is the blank areas that all will be zeros the encoding can be written as encoding we have already know code word V is equal to U into G okay U is the message sequence and G is the generator matrix so v is equal to u into g this is how we can finding the code word then each row of g is identical to preceding row each row is identical to preceding row but it's a shifted version of the preceding row okay so uh, that's the theoretical portion of convolutional code using matrix method then we can uh, see an example this is an example for Convolutional code using matrix method. If u equal to 10111, find the code word v using matrix method for a 2 comma 1 comma 3. So this is n comma k comma m encoder with g1 equal to 1011 and g2 equal to 1111. Okay. So first of all, we want to find the uh, order of the matrix. Okay. In order to find the order of the matrix, we have order is L by L means number of rows by N into L plus M. L is nothing but 
L is number of row and n into L plus 1 is number of columns. Okay. So, L is nothing but it is the number of rows or size of the matrix. Okay. Size of the input input message. So, here L equal to here input message 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, L equal to 5. So, there will be 5 rows. So, L equal to 5 means it is the number of rows. Okay. Then what is the value of n? Okay, n comma k comma m. So n equal to here two. What is the value of l? L equal to five. And what is the value of m? M is the number of flip flop. M is equal to three. Then we already find l equal to five. That is number of rows. Then we want to find n into l plus m. That is number of columns. N into l plus m. Here n equal to two. Two into l equal to five. 5 plus 3 which is equal to 2 into 8 which is equal to 16. So, there is 5 rows and 16 columns. Okay. This is how we are finding the matrix G. Okay. Now, G can be calculated as G means nothing but we are combining and writing G1 and G2. Okay. So, here G1 here G1 equal to 1, 0, 1, 1 and G2 equal to 1, 1, 1, 1. So, we are writing uh, G as first combine this 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, we are writing first row as 1, 1. First and first of G1 and G2 then 0, 1. So, I am writing this like in order to understand I am writing gap between these two then 1 1 then 1 1 ok so this is how we are writing G so uh, the how many columns are the there are 16 columns so count this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so only 8 uh, numbers are there so remaining 8 will be zero. so 1 2 3, 4. So, this is equal to 16. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, this is the, uh, then the size is 5 by 16. Okay. Now, we want to right shift all values. Then this 0 will come here. Then the second row becomes 0, 0. 1 will come here. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. 0 0 0 0 then by right shifting again we get 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 ok this is ok then again we right shift because there is 5 there are 5 rows ok then again shifting we get 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 ok there, there only have 4 rows then final row A will be become 0 0 this 0 come here then this 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 this is the G matrix ok now we find G matrix then we want to find the code word V. V is equal to U into G. So, multiplying this U with G we will get the answer. Okay. So, V equal to U into G. Okay. So, U means 1 0 1 1 1 into G. Now we can find the code word as V equal to simply we can write this as 10111. So these are also 5 rows. So first row is 1. So we can write first row as such. Okay. So first row, first two element is 1. So 1 into first row, first row will be can we write as such that is 110111 0 0 0 0 
0 0 ok 0 0 plus ok the second row will be 0 so second row will be second element is 0 so second zero row will be 0 then the third element is 1 so we can add this 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 these three rows then we can write it as plus third row fourth row and fifth row that is 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 so, third row this is fourth row as 0 0 0 0 this plus 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 so by adding the last row 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 so so by adding all these three we will get the final code word okay so we can add from here 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 we get 1 0 0 plus 1 we get 1 here we are doing modulo to addition 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 will be 0 1 plus 1 will be 0 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 1 will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 0 1 plus 1 equal to 1 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 0 0 plus 1 will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 0 1 plus 1 will be 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 1 here 0 1 here and 1 here this is the final code word v so that is 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 this is the this is how we are finding the code word in uh, by using matrix method okay so that's all about today's class thank you